Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see some of other rules, important rules that are useful for us when we are working with a team of developers. See, I will show you one example. So now for the rule, what I, what I was trying to show you is so restricting the modules, restricting the packages so of being useful, used by the other team members. For example, see, let's, let's try to create new file, something like uh, fruits.js, anything. So I am creating one file that is fruits.js. So here what I will try to do is, so let's try to create, yeah, here I am having a function or no, uh, not a function. Just check that where array is equal to. So I will be having something like apples, okay, grapes and oranges. So these are the three fruits I am having. Now I want to find whether the grapes is present in this array or not. I want to find the index. So for example, what I can do here, so in order to find the index, so normally what we will try to do, I need to find the index of the grapes, whether the grapes is present in this array or not. Normally what we can do, we can find, we can loop over the for loop or we can do whatever the logic we want. For example, see we have a third party packages in our uh, internet, we have know that we will be using underscore or the lodash. So let's try to see that, let's try to install the uh, lodash. So npm install lodash. Let's think. Okay. So I am installing the npm install lodash. So let's try to see. <coughs> so let it install the lodash. So now lodash is already installed. Now what I can do here. So I can do something like import lodash from lodash. Okay. So I can import this lodash thing. And if I want to find the uh, what we can say grapes is present or not what I can do lodash dot something we will be having a method something like find index any method so find index so we will pass the array and we need to find the grapes or something like this okay so this is the package so lodash, lodash will give you a, some handful set of methods and all those things which we can work with the objects or arrays so traversing the objects and all those things you can work now okay fine so now we are working in a project with a team of members and this lodash package import is acceptable so now we have imported this Lodash. Now another guy came, some another team member is working. So he he is very, he, he installed another pay same package. Same package means, so which will provide the same features, underscore. So I have installed this underscore. So let it install underscore. So now he has installed underscore. And this package will provide all the features which is provided by the Lodash. So that means Lodash and underscore will provide us the same features. Now what he will try to do, he will do the same thing. So he will import the underscore from underscore okay or otherwise let's try to create something like another one okay so here i will try to do something like uh, snacks okay snacks.js or anything so here we will be having the same code so let it create so we have created the snacks.js so let's copy this one all okay so here i will be something like tea coffee or anything okay so snacks so like this so now here instead of using this load hash what he will try to do is he will try to use this underscore okay so he used the underscore so i can do this underscore here and t coffee snacks and here you use this underscore dot find index it also provides the find index and i want to find the coffee so now the same thing so the load hash is doing the same thing and also the underscore is also doing the same thing now let's try to execute the code so now what I will try to do, so let's try to run the linting. So now if I try to run the linting, so everything will work fine. So now I, as I think that, so nothing, no errors will come. Why? Because so whatever the code we have written is fine. So now here it is saying that parsing error, the keyword import is reserved. Okay, so import, we cannot use the import it is saying. So now let's go to the eslintrc.json. So the scenario, what is the problem we are getting is, so we are trying to import a file into the another file. So normally ESRLint, ES, ESLint, normally it will try to import a file through the script code. So that means script files. So if we will be used, if we want to use multiple files means we need to add script, script, script type is equal to source. We need to give like this. Not default it will support like this. So for the, for in order to support the import thing, what we need to do is we need to give the parser options. If you go to the ESLint and if you go here configuring ESLint, okay. If you go here the configuring ESLint and here you will be able to see the parser options okay let's try to show you the parsing options specify parse parser options and here you'll be able to see that 
So ES lint it will be supporting only the ES lint it supports basically ECMAScript 5 syntax. 5 syntax means old one. So and also here you will be able to see and it also supports the what I can say is source type scripter module. Yeah, source type it's, it is set to script. Default it is set to script and we need to change it to modules as we are importing the modules. So now let's try to copy this one all parser options. Okay, I am copying this one all as we are using the Babel thing. Now let's try to import this one. So here it is using the ECMAScript 6 and source type module and we are not using the JSX. We can remove this JSX. Okay, so this is the thing we are using. Now let's try to execute. So I am running the lint again. If I try to run the lint, let's let's see what could be the errors. So if I try to run the lint, now we are getting LF, CSR, RF and all those things. So okay, fine. So let's try to fix it. Okay, lint hyphen fix. Or otherwise we can directly use in the fruits.js and snack.js. So here to select the LF. Or otherwise we can go to the settings and we can do it uh, uh, directly. So that for all the files, it will be applied. So let's try to do this one. Or otherwise, so now let's try to fix it so uh, everything is fixed okay fine now without any problem we are getting uh, we are we are not getting any errors but here what is the problem we are able to see that that the problem we are uh, able to see that is nothing but what i can say is so for one file is using the lodash and another file is using the underscore so which provides the same features so that means we are importing the two packages two packages so that means we need to restrict the user to use only one particular package so that means we need to restrict the user not to use the underscore. So how we can restrict? So here you will be having a rule that. So let's go to the rules. And if you find, if you go to the ESLint rules, and here you will be having the no restricted columns. Okay, sorry, no restricted modules. Okay, or otherwise let's directly type the modules. Okay, no restricted imports. Sorry, no restricted imports. If you go here. And here they have given C. Some modules provide similar or identical functionality. Think Lodash or underscore. The same example I took it from here only. So Lodash and underscore, it provides a similar and identical functionality. So for that reason, so if you want to either allow this one or this one, so you need to restrict either both one of this one. So what we can do is, so we need to use this no restricted imports. Let's copy this one and let's go to the slint rc.json and here I am pasting no restricted imports. I need to show the error. And we need to give the import. What is the import I need to give? Underscore. Okay. So I need to allow the Lodash. That's it. So now if I try to execute the linting. Sorry. Uh, otherwise if you use. Uh, so now if I try to use the linting. Okay. Let's see whether it will show you the error or not. So underscore is not useful. Something like that it will show it or not. Let's try to see. So now it is executing my system is taking slow. yeah so here underscore import is restricted from being used so underscore is not it is respect restricted from being used so import you should not import the underscore now what we can use so now the user will recognize that underscore is restricted so that means so here he can already he can use the uh, only allowed one so that he can already use the lodash which is already available here so now you will not get any errors so this is in this way you can restrict the import some of the imports that are restricted in your project so if you want to if you want to restrict some users not to use this type of packages means so you can use this no restricted imports so that you can give comma so what are the imports you want to restrict you can give the multiple imports here by using the comma okay so comma you can mention the multiple imports and now another important rule what i can say is so for example in the fruits.js so let's think that i have a function okay check event so we are having a event number so what this function will do is it will return the event number so how i can do if number mod do is equal to is equal to zero okay so now it need to return true or otherwise return false so this is the common thing okay so now if i want to call check even okay so check even of something like four so this is the common thing so if number divisible by two means so then it is a even number or otherwise it is a false so now if I try to execute this one, a yes, npm run lint, we will not find any errors. Okay, why? Because the code what we have written is fine, correct only. So without any problem. So the indentation is correct and written true. So we are returning the consistent return and everything we are doing fine. Now let's try to see that whether the linting works fine or not. So let's try to see. So it doesn't show any error. So that means what the code we have written is correct. But there is a 
bug here. Bug not, not a bug, it's a flaw here. Here we are checking the number mod to double equal to zero. So that means we are checking with the check uh, with we checking the value checking only. We are not checking the type checking with the data type. Normally in the JavaScript we should check with the value and also with the data type checking. So now if we want to check with the data type checking, what we need to do? We need to use the triple equal to. But we are using double equal to. But ESLint is running. Okay, fine. Without any errors. So in order to uh, so force the developers to use triple equal to. So there is a rule that nothing but what I can say is I will show you in the ESLint first. So now there is a rules in the here in the rules. So like this we will we need to do whatever the scenario we want. So we can use like this. So triple equal to eq eq eq. So it re it requires a use of triple equal to not double equal to like this. So now if I use this eq 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 and here if I go here and if I use this one and here I would like to show the error as it as a error. Now let's try to run the eslint. So now I am running the npm run lint. So let's check whether it will show you the error or not. Now it showed you it, sh it has shown you the error that triple equal to is expected inst instead of double equal to. It is coming from the rule eq eq eq. This this is the rule which is throwing this error. Now what I can do here? So this could not be fixed. So we need to fix it by manually. Now what I can do? Let's go to the fruits.js and let's add the triple equal to here. Okay. Now if I try to check npm run lint, let's try to check whether it will show the error again or not. Now it has it has doesn't throw any error. So now we have got success. So that means we have restricted the user to use only the triple equal to. So wherever we have user is using the double equal to, so we will throw an ESLint error. So this is how we will be using the restricted modules and also the triple equal to. These are also one of the important rules that are used with the daily to day to daily life projects in the in the applications. So these are also one of the important things. Hope you understood about this row restricted modules and all those things. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.